vocabulary for lesson 313. So we'll start with the sign for go. This technically means go to. You don't have to add a two after that. So you want two number one hand shapes with your palms facing out and then a, a dip in the wrist, go. This can also be signed one-handed. Come is just the opposite. So you start the same way as go, only your palms are facing you. So if you've gone over there, then you will come back from there, right? So go looks like this and come looks like this. So two number one hand shapes, again, dip your wrists and come this way. Can be one hand, two handed or one handed. Always, always is it also a number one hand shape and you circle it like forever and ever and ever and ever and you keep going always, always, always going. Okay, you can remember it that way. So the movement comes from your elbow. There's no wrist movement here. Always. Never is a flat hand shape with your dominant hand bent in half. And you are going to sort of trace a, a number seven. You're gonna start here, go across and down, okay? Never, never. If you're left-handed, it's a backward seven, but never. Work, two A hand shapes. Sometimes the left, the non-dominant one is an S. I don't think it matters. All right, and then you hit with your dominant hand. You hit this area right here. Okay, work. The next sign is walk, which we've done before. Two flat hand shapes, palm facing down. To ride in, this is like ride in a vehicle. You want a C hand shape on your non-dominant hand. Um, drop it so your palm is facing sideways. And then your dominant hand is a U hand shape. Well, like a bent U um, that goes over your thumb. So this is like sit or sit, remember? Only you're sitting in a C kind of, and then you move forward, okay? So is ride in, ride in a vehicle. Car, you want two S hand shapes and relax your shoulders. Your hand should be out here in neutral space in front of you. And then you just go back and forth. Bicycle is also S hand shapes, only this way. We've done that before as well. Bus is finger spelled very fast, like all lung signs are. Bus. And again, that's a very good one to practice because <laughs> it's really, really fast. All right, train. So you want two U hand shapes. Palms facing down. You want your dominant hand on top, dominant hand, because it's going to do some moving. You're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, okay? Let's train. Subway can be signed two ways. And before I tell you about it, um, in your Signing Naturally book, it uses train and subway interchangeably. Um, most people in the deaf community, at least in my experience, use separate signs for train and subway. So that's why I'm showing them to you now. But just be aware that the authors and the signers in your book use this train to mean both train and subway. All right, so here are two ways of signing subway. So you want to, you're, in both of them, you want your non-dominant hand, a flat hand shape with your palm facing down, relax your elbow and your shoulder, should be just right here in front of you. And then you want a Y hand shape on your dominant hand. The way that I normally see it is with palms together, okay? All right, and you go back and forth. So it's the same train type movement, only palms together, okay? Subway. 
The other way that I've seen it is actually having your palm facing out and you just move out once. Subway. Motorcycle, you want two S, yeah, S hand shapes, like you're holding motorcycle handlebars, right? And then you push your, uh, with your wrists to move your palms out and out and out and out, okay? Motorcycle. Drive can be signed two ways. You can sign it the same as the sign for car, but usually I see to move forward. Like here's my car and I'm moving with it. So drive. And that is lesson 313 vocabulary.